Greetings, young men. This is Principal Kefele. I'm sitting here in my Austin, Texas hotel room, got my suit on, getting ready to go and speak to a large group of school administrators, principals, assistant principals, central office administrators. I'm pumped. I'm excited. Anytime I'm getting ready to go and do my craft, speak, educate, inspire, empower, I'm on, I'm on fire. So I'm ready to go. But before I do, I got something I want to share with you. That thought is never allow someone's lack of belief to define you. Once again, never allow someone's lack of belief in you to define you. Said differently, do not accept their lack of belief in you as your reality. Now, what am I saying? I'm saying that in your journey, you will, not might, you will come across individuals that just don't believe in you, that just don't see the potential in you, that just don't see what you're destined to become. And because of their own shortcomings, perhaps, because of their own low self-esteem, perhaps, they want to pass that on to you. And now they don't believe in you. They don't believe that you can soar. They don't believe that you can achieve the highest of heights. They don't believe that you can maximize your potential. They don't believe that you can achieve anything you set your sights on achieving. They don't believe in you. But I'm saying to you, yes, those people are going to be in your life, or perhaps they already are. In some cases, there's somebody that's very close to you, someone who's very significant in your life. But I'm saying to you, it doesn't matter. Because as I'm saying, for the theme of this message, you can't embrace that. You can't allow their lack of belief in you to become your reality. You can't allow their lack of belief in you to define you. So if they don't believe in you, then hey, you just say to yourself, well, I'm going to defy your lack of belief. I'm going to rise above your lack of belief. I'm going to prove to you. I'm going to demonstrate to you that I can achieve it. Whatever that is, my first book I wrote going back years ago, I've written six now, but my first one, I had people around me saying, why bother? Why are you going to write this book? No one knows you. You have no name recognition. Your book's not going to sell. Who's going to publish your book? And you know something, young man? I didn't embrace it. I went on and wrote the book. And as they said, no one published it. Nobody would publish it. So I taught myself how to publish. I learned how to self-publish. I published my own book. Then I went out there and I hustled my book. I mean hard. I mean, I, I, I worked on getting that book into as many stores as I can get it into, as much publicity as I could possibly get for myself through television and radio and newspapers and magazines. And next thing I knew, because I was on my grind 24-7, that book became the number one best-selling book on, on the Essence magazine book of uh, best bestseller listing, number one bestseller in America, in Essence magazine. But had I listened to those naysayers, had I listened to those negative people, had I listened to those folks that did not believe in me, that book would have never sold and I probably wouldn't have gone on and written the other five. Now I've got to my, to, to my credit, three bestsellers, three national bestsellers, because I did not succumb to the lack of belief in my ability, my skills, my talent. So I'm saying that to say to you, young man, you will come across people, perhaps many people, that do not believe in you, that do not believe in your ability, that do not believe in your skills, that do not believe in, in, in your, 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 your ability to do whatever it is, it is that you say you're going to do. Hey, don't worry about it. You can't let them define you. You can't let them to define your destiny. You can't let them to define your outcomes. You hear them, but you keep moving. You defy them. You show them that you were wrong, buddy. You were wrong. You misinterpreted my skills. You misinterpreted my strengths. You misinterpreted my ability. You misinterpreted my determination. You misinterpreted my drive. You misinterpreted my will. Now look at me. I'm soaring. 
I'm at 40,000 feet altitude and I'm not even in an aircraft. That's you speaking, not me. That's you. Because you showed that person or those people that did not believe in you that you could do it. You did not accept nor embrace their lack of belief in you as your reality. So I'm telling you, young man, as I close, stay focused. Stay positive. Never, ever listen to the naysayer. Enough said. Let's go. Let's get it done. Let's make it happen. This is Principal Kefele. Thanks for listening. Peace.